Today we're taking a look at a project which I believe will have no problem selling out and that is Mutant Shiba Club. Welcome back to LimeTube and if you enjoy my videos please leave a like, comment and subscribe. It's free to do so and it helps me massively. I'm over at the Mutant Shiba Club website and let's take a look at it. First of all you can see a little arrow sign pointing towards a cave and saying March 2022 because that is when they are minting. The image and animation here is pretty cool with the flashing lights and the eyes in the top right and in the forests and also the NFT looking mutant Shiba at the bottom left. You can also see in the picture there's a test tube with paw prints leading towards a cave implying that Shiba has taken the potion and has now become a mutant. So the pack is growing. Mutant Shiba Club is a collection of 10,000 animated NFTs. Each NFT is unique and resides on the Ethereum blockchain. It has been 9,613 years. The transmogrification, the quest, the ascendancy. These defining events have been part of the Shiba folklore for millennia. The tales have captivated generations and are woven into the fabric of the Shiba identity. So what is the transmogrification? Thousands of years ago, the Balavrak pack members of a secret society comprised of direct descendants of the Genesis Sheba were summoned. At the time, the Sheba's very existence was being threatened. The Goad Collective, a known exterminator clan, has assembled in orbit high above the planet. The Goad was set on destroying the Sheba and commandeering the, their world for a rogue outpost. The Balavrak constituted some of the greatest minds of the Sheba. They knew that defeating the Goad Collective would require something extraordinary. The Balavrak came together with a common goal to create the Zenith Serum. This serum would alter the Sheba at a genetic level and provide them with such physical and intellectual prowess that they would be able to defeat the Goad Collective. War was imminent, destruction was inevitable, death was extensive. So this basically sums up a war between the Sheba pack and the Goad Collective. And to defeat the Goad, the Shebas had to come up with a serum which made them stronger and smarter to be able to take on the Goad Collective. So what is the quest? The Sheba defeated the Goad Collective, but victory came at a price. While successful in its genetic alteration, the Zenith Serum had a side effect. It created significant physical alterations in the Sheba and resulted in a new lineage that came to be known as the Mutant Shebas. Initially, the Mutant Shebas were celebrated and revered. But over time, they were shunned by society due to their altered appearance. Some mutants celebrated their differences, but others were set on reverting to pre-serum conditions. Conflict ensued. The Balavrak had already witnessed the power of the Zenith Serum bestowed. Now they were watching the conflict it could wreak within the Sheba family. The Balavrak realised that often perfection lies within imperfection. Fearing of the future of all Shebas, they took action. A key component in the creation of the Zenith Serum was the Astatine Crystal. In a secret ceremony, the Balavarak shattered the crystal into seven fragments. These seven fragments were then hidden in treacherous locations across the planet, an attempt to dissuade anyone ever reuniting the seven fragments again, an effort to banish the Zenith Serum forever. For generations, attempts were made to find these seven crystal fragments. Many died in their attempts, but few were successful. Six of the crystal fragments were found, and a rumour spread across the planet that the seventh and final crystal fragment had been located. Anticipation spread. Fear grew. So this story is definitely starting to sound like Avengers Endgame and the Infinity Stones, but let's see how it carries on. Moving on to the Ascendancy, the Astatine Crystal calls. It is whole once again. Mutant Shebas are gathering for their Ascendancy. Many hope to achieve the highest version of being, while others hope to return to what they were before. The future is here. Are you prepared? This brings us on to the Odyssey, which is essentially their roadmap. Chapter 1 is the pack, formation and assembly. The Mutant Sheba Club community is forming, embracing the strength of both individuality and inclusivity, celebrating individual differences, discovering commonalities and coming together in unity. The pack assembles. Chapter 2 is the den. Hold exclusive perks and benefits. The pack has assembled and continues to get stronger. Being a member of the Mutant Sheba Club is highly coveted. Benefits of pack membership transcend into both virtual and real life collaborations, merchandise, social events, commercial rights and more. And chapter 3, the antidote. This is the future. The mutant Sheba's final form has yet to be revealed. The Zenith serum has been reconstructed and will be distributed to those who desire. 
The only thing that is certain is no one knows what will happen next. So that alludes to some kind of serum being exposed to the mutant Shebas and I'm imagining some of the Shebas will either transform into something more powerful and others will go back to a normal Sheba. Which will be more rare, who knows, but it's definitely on their roadmap. Moving on to the Alpha team, before I jump into them I wanted to look at their numbers on social media. So let's start at Twitter, they have got 237,000 followers and if we take a look at their pinned tweet it has got 24.6 thousand retweets so that is about 10% of their following. Their Instagram has got 28,000 followers so also very popular on Instagram because NFTs don't normally have that high of a following. And finally moving over to their Discord it had recently been opened up and the current member count is 90,000. I've been struggling to verify myself to get into their Discord. I think that's being oh looks like I can get in now but I think that was being restricted based on the volume. So potentially this member count could have been a lot higher. If you look at the right hand side you can see mint date is March 30th and whitelist and OG price is 0.16 Ethereum. I have just successfully verified so let's take a look at their sneak peeks while I'm here. You can see their sneak peeks are animated as well and I do like an animated NFT. So these look pretty awesome, they are following the Shebas with a bit of mutant serum applied to them giving them some green gunk and some extra features such as the mushrooms growing from their heads up here and even as is as well. And I do really like this ninja one here and you can tell that one's probably going to kick some butt when it comes to a war. But yeah overall I think the artwork is pretty cool. So hopping back to the alpha team we have Barry Crazy Jump, Gabba and Lord Slabs. The reason why I wanted to highlight their social media account following first is because when we take a look at their Twitter following of the individual team members you'll see how large of a following they have. So Brett Berry has 36.8k followers and he is the creative lead and artist and has previously had clients such as NBA, Ubisoft, Bogle, Jeff Koons, Pac-12, Nicola MLS and American Airlines. Crazy Jump is the web free and smart contracts and he has got 35.5 thousand followers. Gabba has got 30 thousand followers and is the strategy and operations of MSC. Finally we have Lord Slabs. They are the marketing and communications of MSC and have 32 thousand followers. The reason why I wanted to highlight MSC's social media first was because if we take a look at this pin tweet, one of the requirements is to follow the four founders. So let's assume that 24.6 thousand followers have only been following the team's accounts because of this tweet. It brings the numbers down to about 6 to 10k following. Then we have the Discord mod team which has a range of different mods. We can see here there's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28 different moderators in the community which really shows that they are watching over the discord and making sure that everyone behaves and it is a good social place to hang out. Always good positive signs there. So back over at the discord I'm just over at mint details you can see that whitelist and OG mint is on Wednesday 30th of March at 8 o'clock UK time. If you're on their discord this time will show your locations time. The price is 0.16 ethereum and whitelist can mint 1, OGs can mint 2. The MSC community mint will be on Thursday 31st of March at 8 o'clock and the price will be released at mint and there is a quantity of 1 NFT per wallet per winner. What I find interesting is the price is going to be released at mint rather than announced ahead of time. Part of me thinks that they're going to pay attention to whatever the floor price is and decide on the day what the mint price should be. I don't know whether I like this or not. I'm sure they'll give the community a discount from what the floor price is at but I'm guessing if it is a high floor price they're going to charge a higher mint price here and if it's a low floor price then it will be a low mint price. And finally one other announcement I wanted to cover was this one here posted on 21st of March. So there's a quote here. Choose projects that demonstrate the ability to execute and bring value at launch. 
Too many projects have neither the experience nor education to execute on a vision. Actions speak louder than words. We look forward to demonstrating this. So that was a tweet that MSC sent out on March 6th and they strongly believe in executing against it. So one thing they're announcing here is the merchandise. Many people have asked for it and they're excited to announce that the merchandise is coming and it will be a holder exclusive. So without having one of the NFTs, you will not be able to get the merchandise. And this will be available for ordering in April 2022 and shipping will be available globally. It's a shame that they're not giving away merchandise free towards holders. It seems you have to purchase with either fiat or cryptocurrency. There will also be experiences. So one of the deliverables that we are most excited about is the experiences. We recognise that MSC is a global community and as such we plan to host events in multiple locations to the benefit of our holders so that all may attend should they choose. Access to information, we recognise that being a member of a global community means that sometimes a holder may not be able to attend one of the holder exclusive events. We are focused to deliver value to all MSC holders. One of the valuable assets you will have as an MSC holder is exclusive access to the private Discord channels. These channels will hold access to information and opportunities that translate into both Web2 and Web3 benefits. For example, early access to created NFT information, trends and market information and more. Knowledge sharing is invaluable whether it is in the form of new and old projects or perhaps sharing other trading skills. And finally, one of the last things I wanted to cover is that Wallets will be collected from now until Tuesday 29th of March at 8 o'clock in the evening. So there's not that long left. And there's some more details on the community wallet submission. So you can click on that and I believe you can connect your wallet to this and have a chance of winning the raffle to purchase a NFT from MSC. If you are interested, head over to their Discord and sign up to this premium. So that's about all I had to cover on MSC. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know if you plan to mint and if you think this will be a good purchase or not. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.